Okay, so hi everybody. Welcome back. In our last video about um, hard times, we talked about how this video is going to be about making mistakes and the cost and the impact and things of that nature. So I'm going to do a little confessional here. Um, 2007, I was admitted to Vanderbilt University to a PhD program in Spanish literature. And at the time, it was the number one program literally on earth. There were six people in my class, five other people. It was a really exclusive thing, and I'd never been a part of anything like that before. I come from a regular sort of middle class background, so uh, my ego was just completely triggered. I mean, every thought in my head was, I am so great, I am so wonderful, I am the best, look at me, look how smart I am, ba da ba 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 so I get there and I meet this professor who is going to remain anonymous, a really nice guy, and uh, he's trying to help me. He's telling me as he's reading my essays and things I'm writing, you know, this is good, you, you got a strong talent, but this, these aren't quite the topics we want to hear about in this, in this field. And I thought, <laughs> who are you to say these things to me? <laughs> I'm Justin, I'm Justin, don't you know who I am? And it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I look back on myself 10 years ago and I can laugh and laugh and laugh. I ended up dropping out of the program. Um, I met my wife and it also just wasn't a good fit for me. My heart wasn't in it. Uh, I shouldn't have really gone in the first place. All I ended up doing was in the beginning taking another spot for a student who was really truly going to be enthusiastic about being a literature professor. Um, you know, and I never really thought of that until I just said it right now. It's a pretty crappy thing to do. But that's, that's what happened. I was the guy who, who did that thing. And um, the lesson for you guys listening to this is our egos can run out of control. Look back on your past mistakes and think to yourself, when I said that nasty thing to a boyfriend or girlfriend, or when I made that crummy comment to mom or dad, or when I just dumped on a teacher I had, you know, said all these mean things to their face or behind their back. Who was that? Was that really me? Was that the me that I want to be? Nine times out of ten? Probably not. And you know, this sounds like it's for kids, you know, the way I'm speaking and talking. It's for adults too. I mean, you know, all of us human beings, we have an ego. It's it is what it is. It, it helps us survive. It helps us to get what we want, to achieve things. But it can be a real MF, if you catch my meaning. And it's back there. And it's always just kind of chirping away. And um, in order to avoid horrible past mistakes, like the one from my life I just shared with you, you always want to try to keep it in check. You always want to ask yourself, is what I'm saying, is what I'm doing for the greatest good of everybody involved? And if the answer is no, then don't do the thing or keep your mouth shut. It's much better for you and for everybody. And the reason I can stand here now and say this to you is because I learned this the hard way. Not only did I drop out of the program, I bounced from job to job to job to job to job. It took me eight years to find solid ground after I left that program. I really only got my feet underneath me a year ago, but then when I did, miracles happened. Bought a house, got a new car, felt really good all the time, lost a bunch of weight. I used to be a real much bigger guy. All these things miraculously happened, but now that I look at it, it's not so miraculous. When you get right with yourself and your past mistakes, there's a real power to it, and wonderful things can happen. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much. I hope you consider what I said, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.